Hey everyone, it's Chelsea from the Allen County Public Library and for this video I'm going to be showing you how to make polymer clay coasters. So we have a few kits up at the library if you would like to try this out, but if you don't make it in time to get those kits, you can go to um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or order it online, get all the supplies you need. It's just polymer clay and we're going to be making this coaster and as you can see I let mine bake a little too long and it got a little brown but I'm going to tell you how to avoid that. Um, to get started you'll need the r plain white polymer clay which the kits have this and we also have a few little pieces of color that we use to make the little um, confetti pieces in our coaster. So this polymer clay can be used to make jewelry or coasters like we're going to make or um, bowls or anything like that. You can make anything out of it. So what you learn here today you can use to make more than just the coaster. But this is a simple little craft that you can do to give as a gift or to use around your house. But I'll show you how to get started. So first I took my clay and I kind of rolled it out into the shape that I wanted. Not completely flat, just how I want it just yet, but getting the rough shape that I want. And next I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to cut a few little bitty pieces of each color. So it's very tiny, as you can see, of the different colors. So I'm just going to cut a few, maybe three of each color so that we can incorporate that into our dish. These don't have to be very thick because the bulk of our coaster is going to be from the white clay. So I'm just going to place those around and you can make any shape you want. I'm going to leave them kind of in a rectangle, but if you wanted to make circles or I don't know, whatever you want to do, you could do that. Maybe you, you want to make a little scene out of yours, make a picture with them. That is up to you. But I'm going to cut a few of each and just place them randomly on my disc here. I uh, will also say that I use a little rolling pin, which we'll use in just a second, to make sure that all of our little pieces get incorporated just right but you'll need to have something to roll that out on. Um, I think at work I probably used a glass jar when I made my sample, but whatever you have handy that is smooth and round that can roll it out, it'll work. Okay, so we've got our orange. Last color, I've got some yellow, pretty gold color. Now that I have all of my pieces on there, I have them situated how I want. We're gonna use our little rolling device, whatever you have, rolling pin, and we are just gonna squish that in to our disc. It doesn't take a whole lot to get them in there. Just one quick roll and I've already got those pieces in really good. Now I'm gonna keep rolling because I want it to be a little more even. My disc to be evenly and even thickness all right so whenever you get satisfied with the size of your coaster and you get them all incorporated just as you want you're next going to punch out your coaster just like you would a biscuit so for this one I used the lid of a Pringles can um, you can use anything that you have lying around, just however big you want it to be. You want to, want to make sure it's big enough to um, hold your cup or can or whatever that you are drinking so that it serves its purpose. So I'm just going to use a jar lid and you can use either one, just as long as it's um, going to be thick enough. So I'll just place that and push down really hard. And I also have a knife here to kind of help the situation. This is the knife is especially helpful once you get it punched out because there tends to be um, a little edge 
that you'll want to kind of smooth out either now with a knife or later with some sandpaper after it's baked. All right. So I've got it punched out. And as you can see the little edge right there, that's when you're gonna to wanna to use your knife. So I'm just gonna trim it up. And be sure, viewers out there, that you're old enough to be using a knife. If you are a child, please don't do this by yourself. Have an adult help you. We're just gonna continue to trim this up. And when it's trimmed and smooth as you would like it to be, you are gonna bake it in the oven. All right, so I just got my coaster out of the oven and it looks amazing. It is not burnt on either side. It is firm and then it's ready to go to be a coaster. But before you go out there and start making coasters of your own, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about baking. So the instructions say that you should bake a fourth of an inch thick piece of clay at 275 for 15 minutes. And I tried to do that the first time and at about eight minutes it looked like this, but I've also used a lot thinner pieces of clay. So with that in mind, when you bake, I suggest that you start at a lower temperature because all ovens are different and it's better to start at a lower temperature and cook for a long period of time than to start at a high temperature and then burn it. So I used about the oven at about 225 and it worked just perfect for me. And I was able to cook for about 15 minutes, but that could vary for you. So just keep an eye on it. If it's not turning brown or smelling, you're probably okay. Another thing that I learned in this process is that parchment paper is very helpful. So I would recommend that you put parchment paper underneath on the cookie sheet so that it doesn't burn. So with those things in mind, a lower temperature, keep an eye on the time and use parchment paper. You should be able to make a coaster that looks just as amazing as mine. And I hope you'll post a picture of yours in the comments and we'll see you next time. Thanks.